We're going to walk through the installation of the Linux client and adding it to the SEP console. And then we will go ahead and follow through with setting up a Novell data mover and configuring a TSA agent. So let's start by verifying we have communication between our servers. So our this is our Linux client and our backup server is 12k3r2 sep dot septom.lz. We are able to resolve the IP address. Let's make sure we have reverse DNS working with a dig minus x 192.168.21172. Excellent. It's able to find it. Let's go to the backup server and we will do the same thing from the backup server but obviously we will do it with NSLOOKUP. So let's bring up NSLOOKUP and the client that we will be talking to is OES2 SP3. And it resolves fine and then if we resolve reverse it also is working fine. Good. Let's go ahead, go back to our Linux server and download our client. So we're going to start with the Linux agent. So let's go ahead and go to the SEPUSA website. So from the SEPUSA website, down towards the bottom we can actually just click on downloads and it will take us to the download section. The download section allows us to download any of those agents that we were looking at. You have to log in to download the agents and the login creation is simple to do. Anyone can do it. You don't have to own the product. You can do this just to download a demo and we're actually just going to download a demo license. We want the client. As you can see, the client's only 11 meg. Pretty small download. Let's just save it. And we will run it after we get it saved. So now that it's done, Let's open up a window and go to the downloads directory and our client is right there. To install the client we will run rpm minus uvh system client. The install itself pretty quick and then we're basically done but we need to do one more thing we need to go ahead and tell it who the backup server is. So, <coughs> so the backup server has rights to back it up, otherwise we will get an error that we don't have rights and it will tell us to modify our control file. So we're going to run var opt sesam. We're going to run opt sesam bin sesam sm underscore setup the command is sm setup the piece we're doing is we're going to set the client and now we just have to define the subserver so as we identified earlier the subserver is 12k3r2-sep.septom.lz pretty quick and now we can go back to our backup server and in the GUI under tasks by client we're going to create a new client OES2 SP3 dash SEP it is Linux so we will go ahead and say Unix Linux and say OK it will go out verify that it can talk to it and it says access is valid so we, as you can see we get a 
notification that it's good here. If we want to create a backup job, we can right click on the client and choose new backup task. We don't have to fill out any of the properties information at this time. We can hit the down arrow and it will go ahead and tell us, show us all of the information that we can back up. So we can just pick the mount directory, say OK. It auto populates our information, say OK, and we have a backup job. So we've now create, installed and created a backup job for a Linux client. Now if you're using Novell Netware or OES Linux, you have to have one data mover in your environment. So we're going to go ahead and continue on this and add a data mover. Let's go back and download the data mover. So under the Novell section, Novell TSA, we're going to download the data mover. Save that also. We'll save it in the same location. And we can go ahead and close this at this point. And we can see that we have the data mover there. So let's just go ahead and run the exact same command. RPM-UBH. Sesame, in this case, it's the Novell client. So we have a data mover installed. Let's go back and change the configuration of this client. So we're going to go to properties and we will modify the Novell SMS tab. So let's go ahead and modify that and put in an account. In this case, I'm going to just use admin. We recommend that you actually create a backup account and use the backup account for running backups. So if the admin account gets changed, it doesn't break your backups. Data mover, this is the piece where we identify who the data mover is, which it is this client that we just installed it on. Say OK. It's going to validate access. It says access is valid. Let's go ahead and say new backup task. When we click the arrow, we can go ahead and go into Novell services now. And let's drill down. There's an NSS volume on here. And since it's a Linux box, we will see all of the Linux directories yet again. But once we get down to the NSS volume, we can see our NSS volume and notice that the volume object does look different. So if we say OK, it also auto populates everything in the properties box for us. We can modify the task name if we want to. Say OK, we've got that created. Great. Now, all we saw in there was a volume. Let's go ahead and add the TSA NDS so we can go ahead and back up e directory also. But, so we have to go ahead and run opt novel SMS and bin. And the command that we're going to run is SMS config minus L TSA NDS. So if we go back to the system console, say new backup task. When we go into the client under the SMS services or Novell services, we'll see eDirectory is now an option. So by adding TSA NDS, we're able to then back up eDirectory and go ahead and save that, and make it a job. Obviously, you'll want to configure TSA NDS to load automatically every time you reboot the server. We also have one other server and this is actually a network server so let's go ahead and configure that client and the name of that client is nw658-sep now this is network box we have not installed a client on it and in fact I, you probably noticed that a network client is not optional when we went to go do download so we're going to just say network network and what we have to do is identify who our data mover is and access to the server. So we're going to authenticate, say OK. So it's going to go check with the data mover and verify that it's able to talk to the client. So if we say new backup task, it'll go out, talk to the data mover, and then enumerate our Novell services that we have on 
the NetWare 6.5 server. So we're then able to choose our volume and create a backup for this. No agent required. Again, it just uses the TSAs. We have our one data mover. We only needed one data mover. And in fact, if we go back over to our network server and we just load TSA NDS and go back to our backup, say new task, we should also have eDirectory available as a service on this server that we can go ahead and back up. So again, just using the TSAs, if you're running iFolder, you can load TSA IF. If you're using GroupWise, you can load the TSAs for GroupWise and have those available. Thank you for choosing Cepsesum as a backup solution. We appreciate your support and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.